Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and today we're doing another Electronics 201 lecture. Today we're going to be dealing with the concept of transistor based logic. So, in the last video, we talked about logic operators, so your AND, OR, NOT, and XOR gates. But those gates are constructed using transistors and what we're going to do today is talk about how those gates are constructed. Now the majority of computer logic consists of not logic. So an AND gate isn't an AND gate. It's a combination of there are two big ones. There's either NAND logic or NOR logic. So that's not AND and not OR. The reason you use not AND and not OR as opposed to AND or OR is because these use NPN transistors as opposed to PNP transistors, which are a little more tricky to work with. So this makes things easier to deal with. The other reason is that their saturation voltages and saturation currents and current handling loads are simpler and they're easy to easier to work within than PMP transistors so it makes the whole concept a lot easier so your NAND gate oh, I should probably explain this first so an NPN transistor looks like this so if I were to just draw out the diagram because I'm going to be using this that's an NPN transistor and here's your base your collector and your emitter and sometimes you'll often see a circle drawn around the component so I'll draw I'll usually draw it without the circle but that's an NPN transistor so let's start with NAND logic because NAND logic is the majority logic you will use uh, I seldom see NOR logic used and to my knowledge, I've never heard of NEXOR logic. So the NAND logic, the NAND gate, just to remind you, looks like this. So you've got two inputs, A and B, and they go into the gate, and the dot at the end means NOT, and this is A dot B, not A dot B. Okay, so that's an AND gate. The transistor layout for this is you have some voltage for your logic supply, and then you've got the transistors. You got two, two transistors, flows to ground. Here's your A and B input, and then here's your output A dot B. There we go. And that's a NAND gate in transistor layout. A NOR gate looks like this. So again, you've got your logic supply. And again, it's made up of two transistors, but in a slightly different layout. Here's B. And here's A. And then here's the output A or B, not. And that's the transistor layout for. Oh, I gotta fix that a bit. Whoops. Let's try that again. And ground it out. And that's the transistor layout for NOR. NOT it uses just one transistor, so you've got your voltage. You got your transistor A ground. The output is not A. So to construct these gates, you're gonna pick either NAND or NOR. Oh, forgot to give you guys the NOR gate. A B That's a NOR gate. A So you're going to either pick NAND or NOR, and or yeah, that, that sounds right. And you're going to combine that in some way with NOT to make it work. 
Now I'm not going to give you the transistor layouts for all of the various uh, for the various combinations because it would take a really long time to draw. So I'm going to just give you the schematic schematics for these. Okay. So starting with NAND logic. To construct a NOT gate, you take a NAND and you tie the two inputs together. And that's a NOT gate in NAND logic. A NOR gate, uh, not NOR gate, why did I say NOR gate? An AND gate is a combination of the NAND gate, if it's two inputs, and because AND is not NAND, all you've got to do is invert that output, and there you have A and B. Or, looks like this, you've got, here's A, Wondering if I'm actually gonna have enough room to do this. Let me try. Let me try moving this a bit. Or you have A going into a NAND gate. Then you have B going into another NAND gate. So you can see that all to start, it's inverting the two inputs, and then it's gonna take that and pass it into another NAND gate and there you have A or B. And The last one is XOR which is of the three definitely the most complex. You start out with a NAND gate, well what else would you start out with? And it's got two inputs B and here's A. And then you have another two. And the output from the last one gets connected to it with the out input from the first two. So, and then you've got one more to connect it all together. And there you have A, X, X or B. And that's NAND logic. So all it really is is, a, is it's a combination of NAND gates and NOT gates. So really you don't have to construct a NOT gate out of a NAND gate. You can just use the NOT gate transistor layer. So basically this is seen here and here and here so you can just replace make sure it's seen as part of the whole area good old gestalt so not can just be replaced with this transistor layout and put in here so that's NAND logic NOR logic is almost the same but different nope oh, still using the highlighter nor logic. So your not is actually exactly the same as it would be with a NAND gate. There we go. Again, it's just tying these two inputs together so that they're the same and it eliminates the variance in the gate's behavior. And by variance, I mean it's the in the truth table, it's where A and B aren't the same. Normally, A and B are both zero, or A and B are both one. This gets rid this gets rid of the A and B zero one, A and B one zero layer. So it just it's either on or off, and that's where that's why that works. To get an OR gate out of this, again, it's nope. Oh, sorry about that. Again, it's almost exactly the same as doing it with a NAND gate. You've got A, B, you pass that through a normal NOR gate, and then you pass that 
into the NOT gate. And that's A or B. And again, they all look exactly the same. It's just your preference when it comes to wiring these transistors together. So here's your A input, and we're going to invert the A input. And your B input, and you're going to invert that. And then you're just going to pass that into another NAND, uh, NOR gate. And there's the output. So this is A and B. And if the pattern continues, which if you've been playing along so far, you can assume it will, XOR is going to look remarkably similar. And actually, it doesn't. It's actually a lot different. It's actually a lot more complicated. And in fact, it's so complicated, I'm going to move on to the next page. I'm not sure if I can fit it all in this one area. A gets inverted B is down here also gets inverted but is shared along with A with another NOR gate And these two get combined together. And then these two finally get passed. Oh, that's not the. Oop. What did I do? There we go. These two get passed to get together into one final NOR gate. And there you have it. So, I've given you the transistor layout for these three gates, which can be used to assemble any other gate you want, using just one kind of resistor, uh, one kind of transistor, the NPN transistor. So you only have to buy one component, and you can make all of these all of these gates. And so this is actually, if you were to somehow gain supervision and you were to open up a 7400 series chip this is what you'd see inside these transistors being arranged together to get this behavior so this has been human hard drive thanks for watching